I hate M54s. It never really left me stranded, but it dead ass could have. The suspension is gonna be literally shot to pieces. The M54 walked so the B58 could run like a motherfucker. Downshift, you know, in that bit. Like, you can go wherever you need to go. Hey, what's up, it's boy, Will TV in the 3, back with another video today, man. Today, we are talking our shit about the BMW E9X 335i M54, all that. Watch the whole video. Like, comment, subscribe, watch the whole video. You First disclaimer, I had one. I had one, so don't be saying, you know, I had one. Per I'm talking from personal experience and from my experience of my peers. So I didn't have, I had one, for sure. Again, I had one. I sold that motherfucker. Anyway, man, let me tell you. Let's, let's, you're right to the specs. It comes with a three liter inline six. Stop it. Comes with a twin turbocharged three liter inline six. Now, BMW has perfected the three liter inline six for years. Of course, Toyota been doing it for years, but Toyota got rid of it for some stupid ass reason. But BMW stays true to their three liter inline platform. In 2007, 2007, it was like, you know, let's twin turbocharge it some of you are like why y'all didn't single turbocharge it they're like no we want that low end torque like two turbos are better than one um better reliability things of that nature now when this thing first came out it took the world by storm actually a lot of people really know about it but it took the world by storm but of course it got shadowed by the m3 with the va but anyway let's get right into it it's their first introduction to turbocharged vehicles in their modern years it is a fantastic platform if you want power for cheap this is probably the cheapest platform in terms of getting power. I paid $300 for a license and gained damn near 100 horses. Of course, it probably wasn't to the wheel, but like I gained 100 horses. I, I literally went from 300 to like 390 with a stage one plus two. And all I needed was intakes. And I didn't even have the intake. This still worked perfectly. Didn't skip a beat. Stage two plus puts you at like 400 and something horses. Uh, all I need is a bigger intercooler. Coda intakes, charge pipe, down pipe, and that's really it. Then you get a full cap back exhaust, you get endless outlets. You're talking, you already put, you're pushing 450 to the wheels. 450 to the wheels, bro, and you're like 500 crank horses. And to get all those, you're gonna pay like, if you bought everything I just mentioned, brand new, that's only like 1500 to 2000, that's brand new. You gonna face a marketplace, they selling them as a package for like 500, 600, like I'm dead ass, it's, it's that easy to get power. The problem is, the problem with the platform isn't the engine or the trans, well the transmission is kind of, but that was in 2007, 2007 transmission. If you're going to get, if you get in the 335i, don't get 2007, never get a year, the first year of a car, because it's always bad. So I get 2008 and up. Anyway, I believe the platform is fantastic. Me personally, the reason why I sold mine is because I just felt myself going into like a financial crisis with this car. And me, I love money too much to have a car be my financial downfall because here we go. Hey, I'm gonna get right into why it's a bad platform. If you're buying a 335, an M54 335i right now, make sure you have the same amount of money that you bought the car for. If you bought the car for like 7K, make sure you have another 7K like on hand to put into that car because you have to literally fix everything else but the engine transmission. The cooling system gonna give out, cast system, my cast module went out, the suspension is gonna be literally shot to pieces. Um, but that's easy fix. You're gonna get coilovers anyway. If you're watching this video, you're gonna get coilovers anyway. So I suggest you buy the car, get coilovers instantly um, because the suspension most likely gonna be shot. Even But even with a shot suspension, my rear shocks were literally dead. And that bit still rolled like a German champion. This car was literally, this car was the best driving car I've ever driven in my life. I don't know. It's. Like BMW, the driver experience, it definitely gave a driver experience. BMW is probably the smoothest, most like in tune car I've ever driven. That's that's facts. Next, injectors. Now, in the year 2023, if you get an M54, they're most likely gonna have newer injectors, like at least in like at least index 10 injectors. But basically, to get your car to run the best and to get the most power, you need index 12 injectors. Now those injectors are three bands for six. They're three bands for six, brand new. You can go face the marketplace and probably find about 1500, a whole set, but everything, but you need at least index 10. Index 10 is cool, index 11 is cool, but like index 12 is like the top two. Anyway, um, yeah, you don't need to, but like you need to if you want to build power. There's a lot of plastic pieces in the engine bay and those places fail, like the, your charge pipe will fail. Um, Cause it's plastic. Um, that's why you get an aluminum one. Um, speaking of that, I have charge pipes, down pipes, 
and Coda Intake Cones. I don't have the, the endless outlets for it, but I have those for sale if y'all want it. Everybody want it. I'm, I'm talking about sale for cheap. Anyway, if y'all watch this video, y'all want them, let me know because I have them in a box. I can take actually, I show y'all pictures. I have pictures of it. Anyway, but yeah, and I just, I me, mean, I love Beamers. I've always wanted to be a Beamer boy. I had the opportunity to be a Beamer boy. It was probably the best two months of my life. <laughs> Not my life, but it was probably one of the best two or three months of my car life. It was, it was amazing. It just, it felt, it was a highway beast, bro. Like, me and the boys were out cruising. I just could do whatever, whenever, wherever. Like, it just, you want to go right there, just downshift, you know, in that bit. Like, you can go wherever you need to go. Somebody pass you, you can catch up to them and pass them. Like, it was a stock, stock. It was, is 300 horses in an M54 is not the same as 300 horses in my Mustang or 300 horses or something. Like, them turbos kick extremely hard. And you know, BMW, they, they always load their numbers. So it's like, oh, it's 300 horses. But that car was dead ass, probably 300 horses to the wheel. Like, 315 to the wheels, like, you know what I'm saying? Like my Mustang's 300 horses, but like, it's probably like 275 to the crank. I mean, two, three, 275 to the wheel, but anyway, like 270, yeah, 275 to the wheel. Anyway, um, man, that was just, it was an amazing car. I personally, would I buy another one? Probably not, but damn. I might, if I do buy another BMW, BMW it's gonna have to be a 340i with the B58, because them cars, the B58 is, is, the M54 walked so the B58 could run like a motherfucker, like Usain Bolt. Does anybody, nobody really talks about Usain Bolt anymore. Damn. Anyway, yeah. The good power. Oh, power. And it's there. And it, it handles it so well. Oh, it handles it so well. These cars are so amazing. If it's raining, if you do the second gear pull, you're spinning. Oh, it's so crazy. I loved it. Every second of it. Turbo noises. Fantastic. Blow off valve. Holy shit. I mean, god damn it. It's a fantastic car. I can't even lie to y'all. I would tell y'all not to buy it. I do tell a lot of people not to get one, but God damn it, if you want to have some fun, get one. But from a BMW enthusiast, a BMW, that person that loves BMWs, he said it's literally, you have to love them. Like it, ha it has to be a love relationship. It can't be a, oh, I, I fuck with them heavy, they cool. And like, I want to make this power. No, you have to be in love with BMWs. And I promise you, if I held that car for a little longer, if I had that car right now, I didn't never sold that bit. I probably would have fell in love with that car and I probably would have jumped, dumped all my money into it. I know people that jumped 10K into the car. They bought the car for 10K and already dumped 10K in the car. They only had a couple months. It's like, it's a money pit for sure. Downfalls, money pit. Every time I take it to the shop, a thousand, a thousand dollars and up. A thousand, like minimum thousand dollars. You're gonna pay at least a thousand dollars to get whatever you need to get fixed. And I went to a like, what do you call them? A mom and pop shop. Not a big dealer, not a big like mechanic shop. I went to like, you know what I'm saying, a local. BMW, a local shop that just specialized in BMW, all this shit, you know what I'm saying? And they, that's good ass prices. Basically, the prices I pay, I would have paid like two times more going to actual, going to a dealership or actual mechanic. Like, um, so I'm just saying, that's on the low end of thousand dollars, you know what I'm saying? Every time I take it to the shop. Yeah, it's, it's fixable. Well, it's, okay, so one thing about the E92s, E90s, I had an E90 by the way. One thing about them, they not really like mechanic. No, those those are like the last years you can really work on the car yourself. But here's where they get your ass. Because every time you install a new part, you have to get it tuned. Like you have to get it computerly, like you have to get it tuned by a computer to connect with your car. Basically the car has a brain now. Cars have a brain. Well, cars always had a brain, but this brain is intelligent. It's like AI. So it's like, well, it's damn, it's a dumb AI, like a slow one. It's like, I'm intelligent, but you have to tell me what you just did so I can plug it in. I'm not going to automatically know what the hell I'm talking about. So that was a problem. Um, so you got to have like somebody that actually knows, like a specialist that actually knows how to work the computer. Anyway, anyway, my transmission was trash too. Don't get 2007. But man, oh man, I cannot... I, I I loved it. I'm not going to lie to y'all. You know, from what I just told y'all, um, it's up to y'all, man. I'm not going to lie. I loved every second of it, every minute of it, except for the part where it was, where it was in the shop and it was breaking down and it wouldn't start and shit like that. But anyway, it never really left me stranded. Uh, I don't know. It could have. It could have. It never really left me stranded, but it dead ass could have. I could have been somewhere to car me in the car. Yeah, I could have been fucked. Anyway, but that was a cast module issue. It wasn't even a. a um, an engine truck, like the engine, tra the engine's actually bulletproof as hell. They actually made the engine bulletproof. Um, the transmission, not as bulletproof. The six speed manual is bulletproof as hell. The automatic is just as good though, but it's just as good. I don't know. I would get, if I was you, I would get automatic. Man, I don't know, bro. Uh, uh, shit. That's all I gotta say about that, brother. So I got you one to get you one. Me and got you one, you better get you one. I had me one, I sold mine, but 
If I get one again, before you ever get one, I'm gonna tear the city up. That's all I gotta say. But all right, man, we got that bit for real. If y'all like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, please. Watch the whole video. Like, comment, subscribe, watch the whole video. You're gonna, you're gonna find something you like. Anyway, we got that bit for real. I could it, pow.